chapter 2, section 2.10, we're going to round mathematic operations to correct significant figures. So when multiplying and dividing, your answers should have the least sig figs based on your givens. So we'll look at the original numbers in the problem, and that'll dictate how many sig figs our answer can have. So for example, 3.5 divided by 8.47 gives me a raw answer of 0.413222314 grams per milliliter. However, we need to round this because this number has two sig figs and this number has three sig figs. Two is the least of those. Therefore, your answer should only have two sig figs. So we'll round it off here and that'll be 0.41. When adding and subtracting, answer should have the least decimal places as the givens. So the decimal places or numbers after the decimal of our given will dictate how many decimal places our answer can have. So 25.1 grams plus 2.03 grams. Notice that the raw answer is 27.13 grams. This number has one decimal place and this number has two decimal places. Now by decimal place we mean numbers following the decimal. This has one number after the decimal. This has two numbers after the decimal. So one being the least means that I can only have one number after my decimal. So I round off here and that's going to be 27.1. So here are several examples. First, when we add 1.0 plus 13.45, we get 14.45 as the raw answer. However, rounded off, we want to look at the least decimal places. This number has only one. This number has two, so we're going to have one decimal place. We're rounding here. This is a 14.4 followed by a dead even 5, which means I need to make sure 4 remains even, so it does not round up, it stays the same. And so there's our final answer. 9.5, 9.2 minus 5 is going to give me a raw answer of 4.5. Because this number has one decimal place and this number has no decimal places, we're going to go with no decimal places. So I want to actually round off here, the 4, and so because we are followed by a dead even 5 one more time, it's going to remain just 4. Okay, 5.800 plus .4289 gives me a raw answer of 6.2289. Because this number has three decimal places and that one has four, we're going to go with three decimal places in our answer. So we're going to round off here. And that nine is going to round this eight up to a nine, giving me 6.229 as my final answer. Number four, 5.3 minus 2.104. It's giving me a raw answer of 3.196. Because this only has one decimal place and this has three decimal places, we're going to go with one decimal place. So I want to round off right here. That one will round up based on the 9, and so my final answer will be 3.2. 123.45 plus 0.82 gets me a raw answer of 124.27. Because this has two decimal places and this has two decimal places, we want our answer to have two decimal places. Since it already does, our final answer remains the same, 124.27. Now we're going to divide, which is a different rule. 37.0 divided by 4 will get me this raw answer, 9.25. But now we have to rule based on the least number of sig figs. This number has three sig figs. This number has only one sig fig. So I'm going to go with one sig. So my answer is going to round off here at the 9. And so 9 rounded off by the 0.2 is going to make it just 9 as the final answer. 0 0.63 times 9.754 gets me a raw answer of 6.14502. Again, we're multiplying, so the answer is rounded to least sig figs. This has two sig figs. This has four sig figs. So I want to round off to have two significant figures. So we're going to round it off to here. The 1 followed by a 4 will remain a 1. And so our final answer is 6.1. 40.0 divided by 8.74 gives me a raw answer of 4.576659.
this number has three significant figures and this number has three significant figures. So three sig figs is what my answer should have as well. So we're going to round it off to here. The seven rounds up to an eight, giving me a final answer of 4.58. Number nine, we're multiplying again. 0 0.02384 times 1.37 gives us a raw answer of 0 0.032668. So we're multiplying, we're going to round to the least sig figs, this is four sig figs, this is three sig figs, so we're going to go with three sig figs because that's our least. Remember, leading zeros are not significant, but you still have to keep them. And so my first three sigs are the three, two, and the six. This six rounds up to a seven, giving me 0.0327 as the final answer. 2.2 times 7.776 gets me a raw answer of 17.1072. We're going to round to least sig figs because it's multiplication. This is two sigs versus four. So we're going to go with the two sigs based on that measurement. So I need my answer to be rounded off to here. That seven is going to remain the way it is. So my answer is just 17. Six times eight is equal to 48. However, because we have one sig fig for each of our givens, that means our answer can only be rounded to one sig fig. That four is gonna round up to a five, that eight is gonna drop and become a zero, and so that gives me a final answer of 50. 4.184 times 100.62 times 25.27 minus 24.16. We have to subtract these two numbers first, and so when we do that, we get 1.11, and that's got to have least decimal places when we subtract. The good news is it already has two decimal places, so we don't have to worry about rounding that. Now you're going to multiply 4.184 times 100.62 times 1.11, and that's going to give us a raw answer of 467.303-4288. Now, we're going to base it on the least of our sig figs. This number has 4, this number has 5, and this number has 3. Because we're going to use the number after subtracting. So we're going to have 3 sig figs in our final answer. And so that's going to round it off here at 467. And so my final answer is 467. 8.925 minus 8.904. We're going to subtract those first, and that actually gives us an answer of 0 0.021. We need our decimal places to be the least of our givens, so three decimal places, three decimal places makes my answer here three decimal places. And it already is, so we don't have to change anything there. Now we're going to take 0 0.021 divided by 8.925 times 100, and that's going to actually give us a raw answer of 0 0.23529418. You are not going to use the 100 to base your rounding because it's an exact value. So we don't use exact values to base roundings. So we're going to base it on this number, which only has two sig figs, versus this number, which has four sig figs. Since two is the least of those, we're rounding to two sigs, and that's going to be 0 0.24. 9.04 minus 8.23 plus 21.954 plus 81.0 gets us a raw answer of 103.764. We're going to round to the least decimal places. This has 2, this has 2, this has 3, and this has 1. So we're going to go with 1 decimal place. So that rounds it right there. 103.8 is my new number. Now I'm going to take 103.8 divided by 3.1416, and that gets me a raw answer of 33.04048892. I'm going to now look at these. It has four sig figs, and this number has one, two, three, four, five sig figs. So since four is the least, that's how many sig figs I want my answer to have. So I will round off here, and that gives me a final answer of 33.04. 0 0.1654 plus 2.07 minus 2.114 gets me a raw answer of 0 0.1214. Because this is all addition and subtraction, I'm going with the decimal places. 
So four decimal places, two decimal places, three decimal places, we're going to have two decimal places. So we're going to round it to here. It's going to be 0 0.12 is our final answer. 4.987 minus 4.962 gets me 0 0.025. We're going to round to least decimal places. This has three, this has three, so this should have three, which it already does. So we don't need to round that anymore than it already is. Now I'm going to divide, I'm sorry, multiply 8.27 times 0 0.025 to get a raw answer of 0 0.20675. Now I round to least sig figs because we're multiplying. So this number has three sigs, but this number only has two. So two sig figs is what I'm going with, which is going to round here. Remember, leading zeros are never significant. So this is going to be 0 0.21.